What's up, YouTube? It's your old school expert, and I am here today with my boy. Yu-Gi-Oh! First Set Collector. We are at his house with his really nice setup with all these great lights, and we've got some maximum gold to open up. We've got two mini boxes each. We're doing a bit of a little uh, of a battle. Um, we picked these up at Target, so uh, we're hoping, we're both really hoping for like a blue eyes, a red eyes, or a dark magician. Pretty much in that order, right? Yep. I think, personally, I think the red eyes looks the, the, red best, looks the best. But that is also my favorite card, so I'm biased. So let's open these up and maybe we will pull one of those. The blue eyes is already starting to spike in price. Hopefully that goes down as more of these get opened up and more get on the market. Um, because we are opening these up on the day of release. Sorry if you guys hear a lot of noise in the background. Yeah, the girls are watching a movie with the Yu-Gi-Oh! First Set Collector's sweet surround sound system. A lot of bass. A lot of bass. All right, so I believe it's four packs, right? Uh, I don't know. To be honest with you, I haven't... I really... I watched that video. You sent me a little bit of it, so I don't even yeah. know what cards are in I think it's four packs, and then um, each pack, I think, has two of the gold foil rares. And then two of the, uh, or four of the, like, just regular gold rares that are not foil. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Alright, so four packs. Let's get these open and uh, pull that red eyes. Alright, so we got, so this is a, a gold regular rare. A Mecha Phantom Beast Draco Sack. Buster Blader, the Destruction Swordmaster. Starlight Junction, number 74 Master Blades, all right, That's so. Cool. All the words are. We got an Eldic, the Golden Lord. This is actually the most, I think the most valuable after the Blue Eyes. So it that's good, yeah. Um, it's a it's a meta card, so. Okay. It's pretty good. And then we got a Zodiac uh, so nice. check and Those look really nice. And a Mecha, Mecha Phantom Beast. Jungalorian? Uh, Jackulasaw, something cool. like that. That's cool though, the yeah. wars are ultra rare wars. But oh dude, they're so good. They look so nice. I love so the nice. the way they did these. Um, you can feel the uh, the stamp on the names yeah, too. Cool. Yeah, they did a great job. Um, you guys know I don't buy a lot of newer Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, um, but I'm really impressed with these uh, gold series, uh, Maximal Golds. So uh, We got a tour guide from the Underworld. Uh, I think they also did an alternate art in this. I might be wrong about that, but... Um, a Dark Lord Morning Star, and then a Chaos Dragon Levianir is the other gold rare. Oh, so, they, so they're... They're not always they're in not order. Always in, oh, yeah, I noticed okay. that. Yeah. And also, there's apparently a lot of misprints, too. Yeah. Um, House of Champs did a video on all the printing errors that they're having with this set. There's oh, a God. lot of misprints. I don't know who that is. So, number 87, Queen of the Night. The White Stone of Ancients. Okay. It's kind of cool. A Parlor Dragon Maid. So could every single card in here possibly be a gold? Like a, I don't think it's so supposed could, to be that way. So any of those could be gold rares also? Oh, these? No, I think yeah. they don't. So it's, no. there's pretty They're separate, determined. yeah. Okay. A Transcode Talker. And then a Phantom Knights of Rusty... What is that? Can't even read it. Rusty Bardiche? I guess. I don't know. Yeah, Bardiche or Bardiche. It's really hard to read them. Actually, so infinite impermanence is. Oh yeah, that's right. That one is pretty expensive. Right and then you're right, there's Eldish at fourteen forty nine. I mean, all those will probably go down. There's an actual oh, yeah. awesome in here also. I'm hoping everything goes down. Makes uh, it easier for collectors. I think the blue eyes, the red eyes, and dark magician will probably hold their value. Red oh eyes yeah, those will probably go up. Three. Oh really? Yeah. So we got a five. laundry dragon maid, and a zodi. Ah, oh, another zodiac. The oh. same one. That's kind of lame. So we got some doubles in that one. That's unfortunate. So nothing good in that box. Ooh, that was actually. Harpy's fed you to a feather duster too. Yeah, the Eldic was good. Yeah. Um, in terms of value, but nothing um too collectible, which is obviously what I would be after. So let's open one more. Those look so like crazy. They do. They look crazy. It's hard to read them with the with the uh, light because the light reflects off them know. so much. Sitting here like trying to sound them out like I'm in second grade. <laughs> Pronunciation. Yeah. I'm just gonna open this off camera. Oh, he's sliding the blue. Yeah, slide in the blue eyes in there that I don't even have. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I did order some online, um, like pre-order. I think pre-order cards are gonna have. 
you, you can pre-order them off TCG Player or eBay because um, they already know they're gonna yeah open. they already know they're gonna open like cases of this so they they pretty much know what they're gonna have. They already shipped so no issue with the pre-order. These things kind of make it hard to open. Like you want to open them without damaging them, but yeah. it's hard to get them out of the box. The boxes are kind of cool though. Yeah. Cool little box. All right. I think it'd be cool to keep one of these sealed. Let's, Let's do this. Second box. Yeah, I think a case would be cool, or a um, like a big box, like a. I think they're calling cases. I don't think so, because you can buy like know. a case of the boxes. Yeah, I know, I know. Herald of the Arc Light and oh no. I hate how they're out of order. Ooh, Ooh hell nice. yeah, dude. Good that's sick. Yeah. Look at that. That, looks, that looks sick. Yeah, that's crazy looking. It's so cool. I just love, I love the artwork. I love Are the you way. you can it or you can keep it like that? Nah, I'll just keep it like that. I love the way that they did all the, um, it, it almost looks 3D in a yeah, way. Yeah, it does. They did a great job. I'll stick with that look in the BGS case. Oh yeah, it would look good. Honestly, the camera doesn't even do it justice. No. It looks so much better in real life than it does on the camera. The camera makes it look way, way worse. I want to hold it, but I don't. Just hold it, but then put it in here. When you're done. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's nice, sick. right? Okay. Next pack. Let's try to get that blue eyes. The borders are crazy. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, <laughs> yes! Same box. That's so sick. What a good box. I the know. other box was kind of disappointing. Oh, dude, that's so sick. It looks really good. So Guys, on top of there's thing. no way to describe how much better these look in person than they do on camera. So I highly suggest if you've got an extra 10 or $15 to throw out one of these, do it. Um, it's pretty sick. See the damage on top of this one? No, but I'm not surprised the way they pack these things. I mean, I wasn't gonna grade it anyways. And then a Dark Rebellion Xyz Dragon. That's a cool card, I actually like that card. They look spake. I know, they do. They, they don't look like Yu-Gi-Oh cards and no. usually I don't like stuff like that. Mm. And honestly, most gold rares, I'm not a fan of traditional gold rares. I don't like them much at all. That's why I almost never open gold series. But I saw these like a week before they were released and I was like, I gotta have one of those. All right. So Artifact Lancia, and can we get the Dark Magician? Not That'd in this pack. Sick. That'd be amazing. Can you imagine getting all three out of one box? Miscellaneous Source. Yeah, well there's still a chance we got one more pack. Yeah. That would be nuts. That would be absolutely I, I, nuts. Be the best box. Lost World, Speedroid Tockenberg, uh, Silent Angler, a tour guide from the Inner World, so that's the that's alternate art. I like the alternate art. It looks way better than the original. And then he, oh my God, this Another Zodiac, dude, that's the third one. That sucks, but I'm pretty happy because this box was really good. All right, so to sum it all up, here are all the gold rares. Um, two tour guides, we've got three of this Zodiac card. It's really unfortunate. The Xyz uh, dragon is really cool. This um, Eldic is pretty cool, or Eldic, Eldlich, Eldlich or Eldlich? Eldlich. Eld Lich, like a Lich, lich like a Lich yeah. King. So um, that was actually pretty good in terms of value. But for me, I'm all about collectability, and these two are iconic. So and very I like cool. How they use the, the artwork they use for them. Oh yeah, the original artworks, yeah, the, um, SDK. the SDK and the uh, LOB artwork. Yeah. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. Make sure you check out Yu Gi Oh First Set Collector's video in link in the description, and check out his video. See uh, who won. Uh, we don't know what he's open yet. His are right there. Look at that. Beautiful. All right. Um, so thanks for watching and stay tuned for more awesome Yu-Gi-Oh! videos.